Right, short division with decimals. So success criteria for this. So short division with decimals. Short success criteria for this. Very similar to short division without decimals. Except two things that you have to do at the start and the end. The first thing, forget about the decimal. Okay, seriously. And then all you do is basically do a short division. So ask yourself how many times does it fit in? What's left over? Then at the end when you've got your answer, a bit like long multiplication with decimals, just see how many decimal places are in the question. And then finally, that's how many you need in your answer. So that's it. So forget the decimal. Do the short division, how many times does it fit in, what's left over. And then that's how and then look at how many decimal places are in the question. And then that's how many you need in your answer. So let's have a go to a couple. So you can see exactly what I mean. So we've got 69.5 divided by 5. So first thing, forget about the decimal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend it's 695 divided by 5. We'll stop math at it. So how many times does it fit in? 5 into 6 goes once with 1 left over. 5 into 19 goes 3 times with 4 left over. 5 into 45 goes 9 times and nothing left over. So my answer is 139, but it's not. Because I need to then look back at the question, how many numbers are after the decimal in this question? And we've got one number after the decimal, so that means in my answer, I must have one number after the decimal, so my actual answer will be 13.9. Okay, it's that easy. You forget about decimal, and then put it at the end. Let's have another go. So 3.44 divided by 8, so I'm going to forget about the decimal, so 344 divided by 8. So how many times does it fit in? What's left over? How many times does it fit in the 3? It doesn't fit in. What's left over? There's 3 left over. How many times does 8 fit in the 34? It fits in 4 times with 2 left over. How many times does 8 fit into 24? It fits in 3 times. Okay. Now I look at my question and I've got two numbers after the decimal which means I need two numbers after the decimal in my answer. So I have to put the decimal point there and my answer is 0 0.43. Easy. Now one for you to have a go at yourself. So 1.572 divided by 3. So remember forget about the decimal. And then just do a short division and then put it back in at the end. So, if you want to have a pause, um, I'm going to go through the answer in about three seconds. So, three, two, one. So, forget about the decimal. 1,572 divided by three. So, how many times does it fit into one? Zero. Okay, the one. How many times does it fit into 15? Fits in five times with nothing left over. And how many times does it fit into seven? Fits in two times with one left over. How many times 3 fit into 12? 4 times. Okay? Now I need to look back at the question. So it's 1.572. So I've got 3 numbers after the decimal. So my answer, I need 3 numbers after the decimal. So I'll put the decimal point in. And the answer is 0 0.524. Simple.